going on scavenger hunt is always fun and the guys from Clue Quest made this into a new experience through this new app. Yeah, so uh, Devon, uh, we heard that this um, app evolved from a family tradition. It did actually, yeah. Uh, when I was a child, I was just kind of an overly creative kid and my parents came up with this, you know, really interesting way to uh, transform the way I found my Easter basket every year. So they would guide me on these really exciting adventures uh, with clues that would kind of navigate me around my house in my neighborhood and I would do different challenges along the way and they'd videotape the whole thing and laugh and just have a great time. Eventually I'd find my Easter basket. Uh, when I got to college, I started doing it for, for girlfriends and you know, Valentine's Day anniversaries, and they really liked the gift hunting experience as a more personal you know, way to give a gift. And, and so about November 2013, John and I were sitting down, and I was like, I've got this idea. You know, I want to find a way to digitize this process and then streamline the creation process so we can get these gift hunting adventures to everybody around the world. And so that's kind of where it all started. So tell us more about the app. How does it work? Sure. So it's really simple. Uh, so what started as kind of this gift hunting application has really evolved into something much more over like the last year of business development. And so what Clue is now is really simple. It's three steps uh, to what we call a Clue Quest, which is a lot like a scavenger hunt meets a treasure hunt in the sense that you're guided by clues, which are witty rhymes and riddles. They're going to help you navigate a quest map. So you kind of have to use your brain to solve each riddle. Uh, for example, uh, these arches are famous. A golden hello. Come get your next clue for here to go. Obviously, a uh, simple clue leading to McDonald's. Um, once you get to each location, you're going to complete different location-specific challenges and then share your progress along the way with your friends to uh, earn in-app awards and a currency we're going to monetize in the next version of the application. And how, how are you guys going to gain more users for this app? Over the next six months, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hiding money around different cities. We call them cash quests. And uh, we're going to be using local media outlets to push it, as well as our uh, social media. Um, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing for uh, college campuses around the, around the nation as well, we're gonna, where 80% of the money goes straight into their tuition, 20% is cash in hand. Awesome. So um, we can go on quests and we can create our own quests? As of right now, we're only structured to create quests ourselves for everybody through events where we can uh, go into a town and create a historic quest for the city or we can go into any corporate sponsored event and uh, for example, a South by Southwest quest where it's a pub crawl. Um, but in the, over the next six months, hopefully we can possibly start allowing you guys to create your own quest through our application. What we want to do is we want to scale a little bit first, get, a, get some users and some you know, segmented markets. Then we're going to open up that option for people to create their own quests and start generating their own content. We'll curate it and then add it to a public database where, you know, if you want to see a new side of your city, you can go and do that. Or if you're traveling, you know, there's a hundred different events for you to do in the city of Miami, for example. And, uh, you know, you can kind of go see uh, someone else's favorite side of the city. So eventually we'd like to create a community of what we call Clusters, which are people that, you know, create this content and, and people that go and, you know, the adventurers that go and complete it. Well, that sounds very, very awesome. Keep us updated on it and uh, let us know if it evolved even more than it is already. And if you guys at home want to maybe uh, join one of these Clue Quests, check out the article below.